everyone, welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We're continuing our run through of Destiny of an Emperor as part of 8 Bit Obscurity, and uh, we're immediately into a fight. Uh, what we need to do on this episode is we need to get through this cave and get to Chang'an to finally face down the evils of Dong Zhuo. On uh, the last episode, we went into Luoyang, found it burnt down pressed on to the next castle and freed the Emperor. Who's heading back to relative safety as I pursue the fleeing madman? Now what we need to do here is we need to try to take as little damage as possible as I, as I push through. I don't think that'll be as easy as I hope it'll be. I will see. Bandit forces are not going to be uh, the end-all be-all for me, but they could uh, do a little bit of damage here, so let's try not to get into too many fights. Right, down the stairs here are some chests, so we do like chests. club, which for some reason is better than an axe. Don't ask. Uh, I can finally give... Actually, who has... Who still has the flail? One ping does. Fei will be doing that much more damage with his club. I assume it's not just a, a stick. I assume. I want to. I want to believe. Anyway, what's up here? Ah, oh, the exit. I'm. I'll probably duck into that cave in my own time to see if there's any chests that I missed. I don't remember there being any, but who knows. If it's extra money, I'll go and get it on my own. Anyway, through the tunnel. gate and the castle itself. That is Chang'an. Dong Min. So they don't explain it, but he is the son of Dong Zhuo. He doesn't last very much longer than his son his father. Um, some more little book learning here. Uh, in ancient Chinese culture, I suppose, uh, at least the culture in this era. Like, I'm, I'm speaking purely out of what I've learned from the book, so if I'm wrong, um, please correct me. You may, hopefully in a polite manner. Uh, but, um, when, at least in the book, when they wiped out a person, they didn't just wipe out the person. They wiped out the person's entire family, house, servants, everything. And there was always a reason. Their reasoning was that um, if I, if I am a lord, and I kill, let's say you, you, you know, you the viewer of this video, uh, you are in that era, and, you know, your father has, or mother, or some relative, best friend, whatever, um, has wronged me, and as the Lord, I have wiped that person out. You would want revenge. Or at least I would think you would want revenge. So that is why they would wipe out entire families, as opposed to just the person. So, when Dong Zhuo fell, so did his family. So did his most of his servants. So that they could not rise up 
and cause rebellion or um, any kind of you know, revenge. Alright, so there's Dong Zhuo. Of course we were caught off guard. And he just protected against water, so there goes that idea. Let's see what we're dealing with. That's a crazy amount of intelligence there, Jaiju. That means you're pretty much front of the mill fighter there. He's actually just as strong as... Eh, no, he's not. Alright, so Dong Zhuo got drops first. and heal when unnecessary. I don't know if enemies themselves have spell points. I don't think they do. I think they can just use whenever. Wow. Someone repelled Lulu. It's not supposed to happen. I don't, think, uh, I don't think the enemy does have magic points. I think they can just use it whenever. I know later battles there are spells that you will learn to hate. And you'll learn to hate them a whole lot. Um, there's a spell uh, later in the game that is called G Mian. J I space M I A N. And that spell makes all physical attacks miss. They don't even... Your character will just move up and then move back. Won't even hit. Pretty much when that happens, you have to essentially either use magic or wait until it's done while the enemy just can take shots at you. You can learn the spell too, but eventually all of your characters will replace it with another spell. The one that uh, prevents uh, magic from working. Which... Granted, is pretty useful, especially on the last fights, when magic will be pummeling the crap out of you. But when the enemy uses G Mian, it is a very, very sad, terrible thing. <laughs> there is another spell that uh, works a little too much that the enemy can get later on. And eventually you can too, but. Most of your characters don't get it mainly because it's a considered a kind of evil move, and you're supposed to be quote unquote the good guys. And it's called uh, Ansha, A N space S H A, and it is an instant death move. It'll kill any person if it works. Uh, the first opponent to use it, I will point out because that is when it, when it's first the, the first character you use it will use it and use it a lot and kill your characters right off the bat and ooh, it's aggravating it's so aggravating anyway, so Chang'an oh, and by the way, we fought we beat Dong Zhuo uh, I know I talked uh, nonsense over it, but well, not nonsense, but things that'll pop up further on. But everybody... Everybody seems to not be caring that I just defeated Dong Zhuo. Now they're all talking about everybody, Yan Chao and Yan Chu. Yan Chu calls himself the Emperor. Well, he's wrong. Stay away from me, you brute. I don't know why I searched there. I thought there was something there. Alright, but anyway. Wow, beautiful girls! Alright. First things first. Uh, with the 
conquering of a new castle, a big one like this, you can actually invite Liu Bei to come. And that will move him to this area, so you can talk to him. So let's do so. Fight your best. Also fight your best. Han Dynasty for a thousand years, alright. Zhang Bei, welcome. Please rest here. Everybody's sleeping together. Alright, so... Apparently I've been woke up. Great General Yuan Shu of Nanyang has somehow acquired the Imperial Seal and now calls himself the Emperor. Yep. So yeah, that's essentially it. Um, this actually did happen in the story as well. Uh, the uh, when Liu Yang was burnt down. You know, what do you got for me? I'm Zhao Chao. Pretty useless as well. Um, as, when Liu Yang burnt down, uh, Sun Jian and Sun Se. Uh, those were characters that. Um, Essentially, they attacked Sishui Yeet, uh, didn't get very far because Yuan Shu kind of betrayed them, and they retreated. Um, as, as they were leaving, Sun Jian found the Imperial Seal in a well somewhere. And as he was leaving um, with his troops, he, he wanted to go back home. Uh, Yuan Shao shows up and essentially says, uh, what, you know, we, we heard you found the Imperial Seal, we need to hand it over to the actual royal family, aka me. But, whoever holds the Imperial Seal kind of holds power, so Sun so John was a little hesitant to just fork it over. So he says he doesn't have it, and he, you know, he says, you know, if I, if I am lying, may be struck down, or something like that. Turns out on his way home, uh, he was um, he was ordered to uh, attack um, Lu Biao under request of Yuan Shu, and he died. I won't say how, but he died. <laughs> and Sun Tzu had to join Yuan Shu pretty much to make ends meet. And but um, Yuan Shu still didn't know that the family owned, that the Soons still owned the um, uh, the Imperial Seal, or they didn't even know they had it. So essentially, I know I keep saying essentially. I'm sorry. Um, what happened was Sun Tzu sold the Imperial Seal to Yuan Shu to borrow to in exchange for troops to go and retake his homeland of, um, you know, the land underneath the river. Well, not underneath, but, like, you know, south of the river, uh, the lands of Wu. And that was when Yuan Shu got the Imperial Seal and started proclaiming himself the Emperor because he had the seal. Uh, Cao Cao, who had the actual Emperor in his uh, custody, um, ordered Liu Bei to go after Yuan Shu and essentially wipe him out. Which was also a ploy in itself because uh, Cao Cao knew that Liu Bei was becoming going to become an issue soon. And uh, it, was, it was essentially to try to um, get them both to wipe each other out. But of course things were much more complicated. Alright, so I need a leather armor for him. And he's got leather. Alright. So, little, little things to talk about while I'm uh, stocking up on weapons and armor. So I can get rid of my goofy little bandanas and uh, put on some caps. They're not ball caps, I promise. This isn't earthbound. Alright, 
so let me, uh, let me equip everything and, and uh, sell everything, and I think I'm going to do a little bit of grinding uh, between here and the next episode, so I may be a few levels higher on the next episode. Just because, uh, I believe, well, we're starting the Wanshu section. Uh, he is now our opponent, and his troops, as uh, expected, are stronger than Dong Juo's. Because it's called game progression here. <laughs> and I want to make sure that I'm ready. I'm also going to step back into that cave and see if uh, I missed a treasure chest. And if I did, I'll let you know what it is. Um, if it's something that I just bought here and missed, maybe I won't let you know. <laughs> it's a safe face. No, I will. So, uh, so on the next episode, we will uh, step forth into the lands of Yuan Shu see if we can teach him a lesson that he is not the Emperor, if I have anything to say about it. So I hope you come back for that. Uh, my name is Lucklight, thank you for watching, and have a good one.